How's it going guys? Welcome to a brand new video. In today's video, what I've got for you is a web app video and it's going to be talking about trading, what to buy, what not to buy and what to sell. Now for this, I'm going to be on the PlayStation. I'm on my PlayStation account and uh, if I move my, my webcam real quick and show you guys... I really don't have a lot of PlayStation coins at all, so I wanted to make it as realistic as possible for the people that don't have EA access and don't have the option to buy packs and stuff like that, on how to trade realistically with not a lot of coins, how to make a nice coin balance, and how to, you know, build up the coins. Now, first of all, I actually have a Premier League Premium Gold Pack. Log into the web app every single day, and you get a brand new pack. Uh, what's great about these packs is the, the ones that are uh, good... Uh, sorry, good leagues. For example, uh, this one, you get a lot of players that really do sell for quite a lot of coins. Now, uh, I've just got Kalasnatch. If I look at his price, uh, he's selling for a good thousand coins to 2,000 coins roughly. So I've made a thousand coins just from that. Ibora will also sell. And the reason I think Ibora sell because he's, uh, he's a Premier League player and he's from Spain. And now a lot of the SBCs right now, um, currently the better ones to look out for are off nation good leagues or good league, uh, sorry, good nation off leagues. Um, so for example, you know, there's not a whole lot of Spanish players in the Premier League that you can use. So Bora might be really good for an SBC, especially one with a higher rating. So he'll go for like eight to 900 coins as well. And I've pretty much just got that for free. And then we look and we've got a bunch of consumables that we can sell. The reason I'm not listing these guys up is because if you guys don't know on my second channel, link down below, I'm running a pack only road to glory. However, I will be looking for players to sell in this video and sell it. I will be selling some players too. So the first ones I'm looking for are players that I probably won't be using. Players from good leagues and off nations, players like this. Now, if we're looking, he's going for about 5 to 550. Um, and I'd look to sell this guy probably for about 450-ish coins because, again, the SBCs, like the hybrid uh, hybrid leagues for this one, or, yeah, hybrid no hybrid nations for this one is where this guy would be useful for one where you require, um, you know, one league and a bunch of different nations. So I might get, like, 450 for that guy, and I'm never going to use him, for example. Um, looking into it more obviously we have a few more players for example uh these guys that are you know italian argentinian uh same with palacio uh players like winston reed will have a nice little price tag obviously being premier league as well will we'll ramp his price up a little bit more and these guys will go up during the full game now players like i think funes mori is probably a really nice one to look at uh we can get a good five five fifty for funes mori these are the kind of players you want to clear out of your club and now i'm not going to lie to you i've seen people complaining a whole lot about trading on the web app. I personally, this is like the first time I've gone onto it. So I wanted to make a video where essentially it's like my first impressions and what I would do straight away as soon as I log on. And hopefully that gives you guys an idea of what to do as soon as you log on, for example. Um, and someone like Rutherford Market, who is a tier one trader, one of my, you know, closest friends on this website um, and one of my good friends that I always look to for advice when it comes to trading. He also thinks it's very, very hard to trade right now. So, and especially on this web app, apparently this web app sucks. So, uh, so you know, I'd listen to someone like him. He, he gives out good advice. I'm sure he's got a bunch of web app videos out right now. But um, as you see here, we sold a Mangala. This was actually a duplicate, but players like that from the Premier League will have a nice hefty value. Now, I'm not, like I said, I'm not gonna be selling these, but I have pretty much in, in value right here of players. I'd probably say about a thousand coins from Moreno. 900 to 1,000 coins from Moreno. So there's 1,000. We have about 1,200 from Kalasnach. So there's 2.2k already. 800 from Bora. There's 3,000 coins. Clients probably another five to 800 coins, I'd say, easily. Maybe even more. So there's another, what's that? 3.8 thousand coins already. Uh, plays like Adebayor. Now, Adebayor might not sell. He might sell for a little bit, but he might not sell. So if I was to list up Adebayor, I'd probably say like, 400 maybe 450 um just sell him see if you can get a, a sale on him you just want people to, to look at these cards and purchase them uh same with someone like uh palacio like if you're not going to use players that are argentinian from the syria or the calcio a then you might be you might get like a good three four hundred coins maybe 450 it's always worth selling these players on the market just in case somebody does want to buy them because i i guarantee you like the extra 100 150 coins that you would get instead of discarding these players is genuinely very much worth it and uh, i think that it's a very very good uh a very good few, few extra coins to have in the club for sure uh again with this guy this guy's from uh italia one and uh it italy so uh i would definitely list guy list this guy up even with 50 pace he might sell for 350 400 whilst people are trying to buy uh buy starter teams same with this guy i'm gonna list this guy up for 400 see if he sells um you know, Jankto is the same. Jankto might go for even a little bit more than that because he's off nation. Uh, I think he'll definitely sell for at least 400. So it's super easy to do stuff like that. Just do mini trades like this and to, to build up. If I was to tell you players to buy, I think we just sold someone, by the way. Who did we sell? 
We sold Simeone instantly. Maybe I sold him for a little bit too cheap. I'm not entirely sure. Sold Adebayor instantly as well. So not bad. We're up to we're up to 1,400 coins already. Now, if I was to tell you guys players to buy, if I was to look at good filters, it's a difficult one, but I'd probably go with someone like CB and I'd probably go Brazil. Now, if you guys haven't watched my uh, Hybrid Leagues and Nations video, um, Brazil seems to be a go-to uh, a go-to nation. And then get off leagues for the for some of the hybrid squads. So uh, what I would do is I'd probably go Brazil centre back, look for 400 coins or 450, and then I'd probably just try and find off off leagues. You know the likes of uh, if you were to go for leagues, I'd probably say go from like some of these leagues you wouldn't you wouldn't be expecting. There's none from the the, the Ukrainian league. Let's go Super League. There's two from the Super League there as you see, and this guy I guarantee Titi will be worth something. Even if he's not worth something right now, he'll be worth something very soon. Like, he will definitely be worth something very, very soon. Because this is the kind of guy people will buy because they need off-league Brazilian players for for a SBC. Uh, a lot of people haven't done the SBCs yet on, uh, on the PlayStation web app because people just don't have the coins or players to do it. Wait until everyone gets a full game and these guys will go up in price 100%. So it's worth picking up players like this and, uh, and making a few extra coins on them with easy trades. Uh, and it's worth just scrolling through all these leagues. The centre-back spot is always used for these, so uh, it's definitely a good pickup now uh, there's a lot of plays in the league of nos i'm gonna go 400 okay there's none for 400 i'm gonna pick one up for 450 there's a lot of them though so if you guys are gonna buy one get someone from the league of nos send them to the transfer list and then just hold them it's honestly the best way to do it um just going for for sort of leagues that people don't really go for it, it's it's the easiest way to make these coins um looking at different leagues that we have here i'm trying to think of a different league that will have them maybe the csl the chinese league no, none from the CSL. Um, what about La Liga? Any from La Liga Santander? Okay, we have a few from La Liga Santander. That's actually pretty decent. So uh, we'll pick one of those guys up. And we're down to 76 coins, but we've invested pretty well. So so we've got, uh, in terms of players now, we've got a, a few players right now uh, that we can sell in a few days when the full game comes out. And these guys, I guarantee this guy, this guy, and this guy will all at least double in price just from SBCs alone. When people start going onto the game, loading FIFA points up and trying to complete SBCs, then they'll be searching for a water, uh, sorry, for SBC videos like tutorial videos etc and they'll see that these guys are required or these off off league high nation guys are required and they'll start buying up so the best thing to do really is just to sit on the web app as much as possible um, and try and pick up deals like this even if you're going just for bidding deals if you were to go for like a brazilian center mid for example uh and you're looking for bidding deals uh the best thing to do is just to sit on the web app and look at different prices monitor different prices uh and i think brazil argentina are two of the better leagues to go for uh, and of course, if you move on to the higher bracket, you know, players to invest in after that, if you move on to like, you, maybe you have five to 10,000 coins, a great player to invest in. Um, maybe he's a little bit more expensive now. It's Davison Sanchez. This guy is easily a 40, 50K card, 100%. And because no one's got coins right now, he won't get bought very often. So if you manage to somehow trade up to like the 15 to 20K and you want to invest in someone bigger, that's who to go for. And if you somehow, like, I don't know how you would, but it, uh, as someone that I think is just an unreal cheap, player right now on this console is Mbappe for 170,000 coins. I know a lot of you don't have that many coins. It, you just don't. It's just you, you you won't get that many coins on the web app. If any of you ever seem to get this many coins for 176,000 coins, it is 100% worth it. If I am to go to maybe Footbin and look at him on Xbox, because the best way to do it is to look on Xbox and see what the play, player's price is on Xbox and then uh, compare it. If I was to bring up Xbox for you, 363,000 coins for this card on Xbox. You know, you'll see that kind of price mimic on PlayStation as well. So there's a few different methods to do. And if you look at SBCs, the best way to look at it is look at what's required here. Uh, look at these different hybrid leagues and nations. Look at different uh, tutorial videos on how to complete uh, method videos. Look at different... Um, you know, different footbin methods, and then try and invest in players that people are going to be buying before they buy it, because no one's doing these SBCs right now on PlayStation. They will on the 25th when the full game comes out, but no one's doing them right now. So this is the best time to invest in players like that. And if you do get into a lucky position where, you know, you're logging into the web app, because daily rewards are a big thing to make coins on the web app. If you do log in, you get someone like a Kalasanac. He's going to be worth a good amount. I think it'd be worth about 1.5, 2.5K in like three or four days when the full game comes out. He's worth about 1,200 now, but not 
not just because he's a Premier League left back, but mainly because he's from Bosnia Herzegovina, and there's not a whole lot of players from Bosnia on the game. So if you need someone that's not from a you know a top three, top five, top nine nation from the Premier League, uh, this is a guy to go for for an SBC. And if it's not for an SBC, people like to use his card in their team. Same with someone like Alberto Moreno. Ibarra's got not great pace, but he's still 81 rated, so it's it's a good rating card for an SBC. Uh, Klein the same. Klein's 80 rated. He has a really decent looking card this year as well. Not the best pace, but he's going to be a go-to starter team Premier League right back. So holding on to players like this is a great thing. Now I did, like I said. Uh, uh, this is a pack only road to glory account um and i do want to like i'm allowed to trade using players buying and selling players on this account um not just from packs so i wanted to bring a video to you guys to show you guys what it's like on the playstation if you want to see me do one of these on the xbox then let me know down below and i'll definitely will do that and if you want to see more more videos like this where i just talk in depth about trading and how to invest then i'll 100 percent do it you guys have just got to let me know down below and i will bring you guys more videos like this uh you know i talk to people like nick uh, I talk to people like Golden Bear quite a lot. So um, I I'm always asking for advice on what I'm saying before I say it, just to make sure that I'm on the right track because I don't want to give you guys advice that isn't correct. Um, so I like to double check to know what I'm making, what I'm saying is making sense. So uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Hopefully you guys make some coins. Just make sure that you're always on the web app. Even if you're, uh, even if you just, you know, you're on your phone maybe and you're just chilling, you pick it up and you just look and compare a few prices. It, it's always a great idea uh, to do that, to get a good idea of what the market is looking like at that given point. And uh, if you guys want a better, better investing, sorry, not a better, like a, uh, a larger coin value investing method, let me know down below and I'll do it on my Xbox account. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.